请收看《大宝法王慈悲开示》。
Dostum kom diye namle. Mirim gordi şayi. I would like to wish everyone good afternoon. And this afternoon, I will be discussing the visualization for the practice of Vajrasattva. Dadeliya, nedir dünü Kur'an alırlıya? Diye, rahat tamir bir ziyaret bamlı bir mada, alında ve dengi dindu, hünle, doğru kabı zeng ama, devar hünge zaman öresizce, havacı sümce gidiyor, sümce yansı gibi, zayıllamada yer maçı bir doğru zaman kundu kabı şeyci çani. Yeah, Takrodu yigi gabe ngandi kado gabo ngango chirde dune samde yego do juike wa da korwa Trisun sha In the torch of true meaning itself starting on page 47 on the last paragraph it reads you are in your ordinary form above the crown of your head the seed syllable pam transforms into a lotus and an a transforms into a moon seed on top of that, a hum becomes a white, five-pronged vajra marked with hum at its center. Light rays radiating from the hum make offerings to the noble ones, benefit beings, and are reabsorbed, and it transforms into vajrasattva, who is inseparable from your root guru. He is white with one face and two arms. His right hand holds a five-pronged vajra at his heart, his left hand holds a white silver bell at his hip. His right leg is extended and his left leg is bent in the posture of a sattva. He wears upper and lower garments of various silks and all the peaceful ornaments such as jeweled diadem and so forth. His hair is bound in a top knot and at the tip of that six guru akchobya who represents his family. His body, adorned with the marks and signs and emitting immeasurable light rays, appears but lacks any nature, like a reflection of the moon in water. His three places are marked by the three seed syllables. At his heart, on a lotus and moon seat, is a white hum surrounded by the garland of the hundred-syllable mantra, white in color. The letters face outward and beginning in front, the mantra circles around clockwise like the coils of a snake. Tini here, in discussing the visualization, it would be fine to visualize yourself as a Vajrasattva. That would be allowed and is okay. Uh, so it is fine to visualize yourself as the deity, but here uh, you visualize yourself in your ordinary form, and you visualize yourself above the crown of your head. That is to say that you visualize yourself uh, ab you visualize uh, Vajrasattva about eight fingers uh, width from the uh, from your hairline. Ta deleyang, ta pema de thangbo pam ji ke ne, pema ke mi thangbo de pet mas la dusan, mi thangbo de mi thangbo de par he. Yigi pa deleya thili gema che dusan. Pam chadi yare. 
And then you visualize the seed syllable pam transforming into a lotus. The first, the word for lotus in Sanskrit is padma, and the first letter of that is pa. So you visualize the pa, which is uh, ornamented with the uh, with the bindu or the drop, which makes it into a pam. So you visualize the white pam transforming into a lotus. Pamkarbuchaji, the <laughs> So the palm, uh, the syllable palm, becomes uh, the lotus. Now, in the tradition of the of the unexcelled yoga tantra, the palm, the letter palm would uh, dissolve into light, uh, and uh, like it would be zooming in in light, and then uh, trans the light would become the lotus. But here, in the uh, lower tantras, it is not necessary for that. It itself just transforms and becomes uh, the lotus. And so there is this distinction that, uh, that has been taught. So here, we are doing this according to the yoga, ta yoga tantra uh, tradition. So it is fine not to visualize it melting into light. Instead, you just imagine that the palm uh, transforms into the shape of a lotus. It just immediately becomes the shape of the white lotus. And here we visualize it as a white lotus. This is the normal way to visualize this. There are some uh, masters who say you should visualize it as a red lotus, uh, but here we visualize it as a white lotus with eight petals. <laughs> And so the lotus has a bit of a stem and then the uh, and then the root of the lotus is rather pinkish in color. It's slightly red or uh, pinkish. Inside the center of the lotus, it is a bluish green, uh, and then the stamens are orange in color. This is basically just what a white lotus normally looks like. If you look at one carefully, that would be fine. <laughs> Yung 